I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Richi, there are links in the video description below to some tutorials and primers that you might find very helpful when learning the fundamentals. There's also a link to this player reference. This can help you learn all the yaku and the scoring. The yaku are in the middle. I guess that would be also known as the inside. Then there's scoring on the back. There's a lot to learn and it's very complex with strategy, which is one reason why I like to do random pulls because I can train myself to identify potential yaku in a drawn hand. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls, so we'll use these to mark each one. We're going to alternate between east and south. I'm going to roll these guys to determine which seat we're in. I rolled a five. So we are going to be east for the first random pull. Two Bam is Adora. I will get 14 tiles. No Dora. We do have Bams. Two is a bit far from five though. We have three cracks, one, five, six, six dots, six, seven pairs, three Bams, five, seven, nine, and then single honors, east and green. So, I see a potential here. Ipiku. That is also known as pure double chi. It is concealed, so the whole hand needs to be concealed. This is where you have two chis in the same suit. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We're, we need an eight here. Ipiku. That is a yaku. You have to have at least one yaku to win. Another thing that we could maybe do, here we have five, six, five, seven. Maybe we could do mixed triple chi. Five, six, seven, and three suits. That is called Sanshoku Dojun. It's the same score, but you can claim discards to complete the cheese. I think that's what I would do instead, because here we have one, two, three blocks. Here's a potential chi. Actually, we have a chi right there. One, two, three, four. All we need in here is a pair. I would play Sanshoku. Five, six, seven in each suit. It's east round. We're in east seat. Maybe discard. We have one, two, three, four. All we need is a pair. We really don't need these at all. I would rather be waiting on a number tile for my pair than a wind or dragon, because you may never get these for a pair, because people use them for score many times. So if this is going to be one of your pair tiles, either one of these, you may never get it. So I think I would discard those first. Play Sanshoku Dojun, mix triple chi, and try to pair up one of these. If you would do something different, this is pull one. Let me know what you would do with these tiles. If we did this concealed, 
we could maybe even play pinfu for another yaku so i would try to do it concealed you would have to watch the discards and exposures to make that decision a lot can happen at the table that would drive the decision to claim discards to complete these cheese but pinfu is a possibility too there's work to be done though south round this time we're going to be 8 9 10 11 we're going to be in west seat this time six crack is dora We've got it right there. So I think I would try to use that somehow. We have two pair, but I would want to try to use Dora. So let's just see what the chow potential is here. Here's a pair. This is isolated. There's a chi pair or two potential cheese potential chi using dora potential chi one two three four five i think i would try to play pinfu with dora pinfu is all cheese all three in a sequence it's concealed and you have to have a side weight so this is a closed weight we need the tile in the middle closed weight closed weight side weight we need the three or the six here we have a three but we need another chi in here that's why i broke it out unless we draw a tile here we might be able to use this here sacrifice the ones you know what i was just thinking we could even do that depending on how the drawing goes maybe even discard this we would have all simples two through eight but i wouldn't i wouldn't discard this yet and i wouldn't discard that yet either i think what i would do is discard the nine dot and the one dot try for pinfu using dora if for whatever reason that doesn't work maybe discard this and this and try for all simples so right now with all simples this would be isolated and this is isolated we would only have three blocks we need five so we would need more simples around the three and the eight so i think Pinfu using Dora is plan A. Plan B could be all simples. Let me know what you think about that one. If you would do something different, this is pull two. East round, third pull. This time we're going to be in west south round west seat we have West and a Red Dragon. Those are both valued honors. They could bring score. As singles, not so helpful. We could only get score if they're in pawns, three of a kind. So let's look at the Chi potential. We have three, four, 
potential, 4, 6, or 6, 7, 8. So we have 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8 potential there. 1, 3 potential. Ooh, there's a chi right there. So we're a little short of number tiles, but I think I would play pin foo here and discard these honors and gather number tiles and play pin foo. Oh, let's get Dora. Seven bam, right there. That would be Dora. So I would definitely play pin foo here. We do have six, eight, seven, eight. If we can get dots for six, seven, eight, that would be fabulous, but there's a big gap there. We have a three, four, a four, and a three. There's some potential for mixed triple chi or Sanshoku Dojun for three, four, five, or two, three, four. It's really light though with these two. This is the only strong one of the three, but I still think Pinfu minimum. And since Pinfu is concealed, you could also reach -y. That's what I would try here. If we draw a four bam or a five bam, we could maybe even attempt pure straight. That's one through nine in one suit. That is called Itsu. It's one Han. If you do it concealed, you get another Han. So there is some potential for a pure straight here. I would definitely discard the honors. Go for Pinfu. If we draw a four bam or five bam, maybe play pure straight, Itsu. Which would also use Dora. South round. We're in West Seat. Two bams, Dora. We got two bam right there. We have a pair of ones, a pung of twos. I would discard the white dragon and play pinfu, all cheese. We have a five, six, two, four. Now we could do a four, five, but I would want to try to use Dora. So I would probably focus here first so we could use Dora. But there is a good potential here too because this is a side weight four or five where you can use the three or the six but if we get the three I'd rather use Dora then here we have pair of ones pung of twos and a three so if we break this out a little we could have Ipiku one two three one two three two cheese in the same suit we have to do this concealed. If we're playing Pinfu anyway, that would be part of it. So hopefully. So I think I would try for re, uh, Pinfu, Ipiku, and Richie with Dora. So I would try to, to stay concealed. Discard that first. Probably then the seven. It's pretty far out. Focus on TBAM. You always got to have a side weight for Pinfu. So maybe try to make this last. Depending on how the drawing goes, of course, because we do have potential for Ipiku. Let me know what you think about pull four and if you would do anything differently here. East round. We're going to be player two this time. South.
six dot is Dora. We got it right there. So I would try to work that in. We are in South Sea and it is East Round. We have a pair of West. This is a non-valued honor. So we could use that as our pair if we play Pinfu, all cheese. You just have to have a non-valued pair. So for Chi potential, we have a four, five, six. Here's a one, three, or a three, four. We have a six. It's isolated right now, but there is potential for a pattern of four, five, six in each suit. I don't think I would go that far yet. I would probably hmm, discard, you know what? Oh my goodness, this is hard because if we played Pinfu and held on to the pair, we would maybe discard the one, nine, one, nine, maybe even this nine. Those are all isolated. And that leaves all simples. There's not near enough of them though. If you play all simples, you can't use honors. So that would have to go away too. So I don't think I would play all simples here, but if we're playing Pinfu, where we're going to use all cheese, I think I would rather keep my numbered tiles. What happens if we draw a seven or an eight in cracks, or a seven or an eight in dots, or a seven or an eight in bams? I think what I would do is discard the Wests and play Pinfu hoping to draw in number tiles. The thing though about these tiles is they're on the edge. So there's only one way to use them in a chi. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Whereas with these tiles here in the middle, you can go one way or another. You can do four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. There's like three ways you can use that tile. Here there's only one. So I don't know what the best thing to do here is. It just seems like a waste to discard a pair. But number tiles can be used in cheese for all chi. Although I have heard people say that if you have a pair identified that that is a strength, maybe we should keep it and discard the one and nine and build around the simples and just earmark that for the pair. Let me know what you think about that. Do you discard that and use the nines and the one in cheese? Or do you discard the ones and nines and hold onto that for your pair? Because we certainly can't pwn it because if we're playing all cheese, we can use it as a pair, but if you pwn it, then we no longer have all cheese. That is something that I'm gonna have to figure out I'm still learning, as you know. This is pull five. Let me know what you would do. Would you discard the West and keep the nines and the one hoping to chi? Or would you save that for your pair and discard the terminals since they're limited. Last one. South round. We're going to be west. Two crack is Dora. We don't have a two crack, but we do have a three crack. And look what else we have. A pone of east. We're in west seat and it is south round. 
So that doesn't have value. Because we have so many honors, which are winds and dragons, even though these are singles, I think I would pick a suit. There's a chi right there. I think I would go for bams. Although I'd probably just discard the three first and see which comes in, bams or dots, and play half flesh. We got to get a yaku somewhere. Oh, wait. What about one, two, three in each suit? One, two, three in each suit. Here's a pone of east. Maybe keep that and do all cheese or cheese. So the thing about one, two, three in each suit is we could maybe use Dora. But we only have one of three tiles needed. That is a pretty risky plan, I think. We only have four discards to get to a half flesh with either dots or bams. I think I would just wait and see that first pick. We're in west seat. This could bring score. South round, green dragon, those are all valued honors. I think I would play a half flesh and discard the three crack. Play whichever suit comes in. Let me know what you think about pull six. Look at that. If you're just learning how to play Richie Mahjong, don't forget to download this player reference so that you can learn the Yaku. You've got to have one to win. And that's why I like to do random pulls. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. May all your picks be keepers.